Hello my dear friends, welcome to Aspire 32. Uh, last week I released a small video on advanced dental admission test and few of you have mentioned that you want to know more about it. So let us take uh, those questions. First and foremost thing is, is um, you know, do you have to clear INBD before you appear for the advanced dental admission test? It's not required. Both are not related to each other. One can definitely appear for advanced dental admission test without appearing for uh, the INBD. Uh, this is quite true, but I request you that you can always visit the website and uh, maybe sometimes things do change. But this is what is the oral information because suppose somebody wants to get into the Toronto Dental School. So they have directly appeared for the advanced dental admission test. So the it's quite I'm quite sure when I'm mentioning this. Second is uh, how is it different than the integrated uh, exam? Like do you have to read different textbooks for it? Now when I gave it in 2016, uh, I felt this exam was slightly difficult because I was able to clear NBD uh, part 1 and part 2 in just a matter of 23 days but uh, when I gave the ADAT exam it was the first month the questions were really uh, difficult challenging uh, what I realized is that in the basic section although dental decks were sufficient of course and all those YouTube's information is quite helpful but uh, the information is there in the dental decks but it may be very you know you may not realize that this thing can be asked as a you know question for the advanced dental admission test. Uh, second one was a clinical section. I got a lot of questions about implants. So that was new for me and whereas uh, even if you see the conservative and dentistry part, what I realized that they are, they are more into recent guidelines. For example, International Dental Traumatology releases guidelines every 3-4 years. So you will have a case uh, where uh, you know, you will have to answer based on these latest guidelines rather than you what you already have read 3-4 years back. So, they were asking more about the recent literature information. So, for an undergraduate, it, it might be a bit difficult, but if you are a postgraduate or if you are already into research, uh, you know, reading literature, this, this should be easier. Ethical part was something which was uh, way different than the uh, the NBD because in NBD the questions are very simple when it comes to ethics. For example, uh, you know that time questions were like suppose you cannot say no to no to for treatment for a patient who has HIV. Ethically, it is not right. So which ethics? you are um, not following such type of questions but in advanced dental admission test you will be asked like you know suppose you are recommending uh, to a patient something because you want him to take that treatment but that is not right ultimately the patient has to decide you know the treatment so which uh, ethics you are uh, you know not following such type of question so and uh, the adult site has <coughs> some references about ethics many questions were uh, very similar to the questions which were given in that website so do check the reference which is given in the edit brochure and uh, they also have a model question paper which is quite helpful you should check that on the way edit website statistic part was something new when i had uh, because although i was a postgraduate but uh, analyzing the result was something which I was not too much into. You know, we tend to depend more on biostatisticians and uh, we never thought, what does that chart mean, you know, and you may have a bar and you may have the standard deviation there. So what does it indicate? So something like very analytical questions of result analysis were asked. Many people told me that, uh, you know, it was more prepared well by reading the USMLE statistics part which uh, people find you know helpful in this section this is what the students or some other people have told me who have appeared for this so overall during that time we did not have any questions any question paper like what you get for INBD 
there are people very less people who had appeared for that but recently many of my good intelligent friends have uh, appeared for this exam they have scored well their feedback was slightly different uh, they did not get lot of implant question like what i got uh, majority of them were you know uh, they said the exam was doable so i'm really not sure whether the exams uh, have been changed a bit the question is modified and made made more relevant so speak to people who have uh, you know recently given this adat exam next is <clears throat> how different when it comes to pattern of the question when i appeared for the nbde and adat they were very different during that time adat had more of memory question and there was one section where in part 2 you tend to have a case series case based question less in the part 1 but uh, recently when i see uh, you know questions from the inbd mock paper and, and when i compare with the adat which i have given it all appears very similar like the x rays are new the way the ta- tables are put they are also quite similar to the adat format so they are more case oriented and that so if if you are used to the A- inbd format so adat will also appear very similar and A- if you appeared for uh, adat then inbd also will appear quite similar because the pattern of questions which tend they tend to ask the case scenarios or case based one they are quite similar so that was different during that time but once you have inbd things are very much similar with respect to adat except scoring and the sections so that's it this is what i want to mention today in this uh, small video if you have any questions mention in the comment section and subscribe to the channel bye for now